I cannot tell you the last time I've been this excited for an unboxing. What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidigo Vibes here and welcome to another video. I've got an unboxing for you fresh, fresh out of the post office fam. I waited a long, long time for this and I am so, so fucking excited. As you guys can tell by the title, I'm gonna cut myself in a minute. Uh, this is Bare Knuckles, which is actually the brand that was founded by Jacob and Cole. And dude, I am so... I'm gonna just start unboxing this, man. I don't even give a shit. As soon as I saw that striped jacket that Jacob wore like months ago, I know he was rocking it with uh, Misbehaved Denim, and I think it might have been his Dior's, I think. Um, as soon as I saw him rock that, I was like, that jacket's fire, I need to know where to get it. And then, always cut away from your body, never towards you. And then when I saw Cole rocking it, and then they pretty much announced that it's gonna be bare knuckles and it's their piece, I knew straight away that I was gonna cop this no matter what. I had money put away, I knew I was gonna cop a few items. And uh, let's just say, the exchange rate is really bad, and uh, lucky, lucky we didn't have to pay for that, um, uh, what is it, the VAT shit, whatever that is for Australians. Um, that comes in the 1st of July, so after that, boys or girls buying from Australia, you can't buy shit online because you have to pay 4%. I think it's 4 I can't open this! Oh, there it is, this little sucker right there. Okay. God, I'm excited, bro. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> so we've got, they've got handwritten cards for everyone that ordered. So Jacob and Cole actually handwritten everything. And he goes, Robert, honestly, mate, you're amazing. These guys are fucking unbelievable, bro. I really, really appreciate you two and everyone at the Ben Knuckles team that designed and went through everything across all these pieces. Um, I've got my receipt here, anything, everything here, which is not a big deal. We can get rid of that shit. But, <laughs> boys, shit's hard, bro. This shit is fucking hard, man. Okay, okay. Robs, you need to calm down a bit, mate. You need to calm the fuck down. There we go. So, I ended up getting the um, striped denim jacket in a size large, and I also copped the Japanese skinny denim in a size 34. These, both these pieces were actually at a really, really great price point considering the materials and the actual process behind each garment. That was really loud. I'm gonna save the best for last, so we'll put this aside. But first off, I did cop the Japanese skinny denim. It has um, batches of Japanese denim that was sourced in Japan and it was also enzyme washed to create that uh, vintage, already worn in feel without having to do it yourself. And it is raw denim too. And, oh my god, bro, just looking at this already, I love this wash, man. Like, give me a sec. As you guys know, I had, um, I've got this pair of denim right here. I'm not going to do comparison, because this shit's over this. These are my new denim, and I think I was telling you guys a long time ago, I paired this up with my Bottega Veneta's, and it ended up being too big, but I really love that nice... Nice. I love that nice washed out look with denim because you don't go with a straight black fit. It actually adds like a bit of texture and a bit of character towards an outfit. So this particular pair is just like, it's shit. So if anyone wants this, hit me up on the DMs on Instagram. I'll sell it to you for dirt, dirt cheap. I paid like 120 and these retail for like 220, I think. And they're a size 36, just to be sure. The fit true to size, I tapered them and they look nice, but that's shit compared to this. These are, like I said, Japanese skinny denim, and this already looks beautiful. I love the cut of it already, and this is a first time look at it, so I don't know if the color is gonna do it justice on camera, but going from the feel of this pair of denim, it's super, it just feels super worn in, like I know when I'm gonna put these on, they're gonna fit right, and they're gonna break in already nicely and mold to my body already. Um, so just finer details. We've got the bare knuckles tag right here We've got a four button flight at the front which I'm assuming this like actual metal piece right here is actually from Riri or Cobrax So that's a four button fly right here. I'll just button that up Right there. We've also got a two front pockets at the f we've got two front pockets at the front Nice work vibes nice 
We've got two front pockets, and the right one actually features a uh, smaller pocket at the front to uh, throw your coins in. We've also got two back pockets, and something I just realized now, the back pocket actually features like a bit of excess material and then a red stitch. So the theme for all of the garments, or most of the garments I'm assuming, is the hints of red throughout everything, like the red stripe jacket, this being the, um, the red bare knuckles tag, and this red stitching. It's fine in detail, but it works super well. Double stitch across all the pockets and also double stitch around everything. You never go single stitch if it's like a stretch of material. And lastly, the opening, compared to all this with the double stitch, this features a single stitch opening just because it's not that stretchy at all. So it's gonna sit nice and tight or nice and loose depending on how you wear it. If you cuff these, you will in fact see the selvage stitch on the side right there. And it does feature a nice beautiful hints of red, which is throughout all of most of this garment right here, which I am super pleased about. I have no idea how this is going to fit, but I will leave it on body and I will let you know how this fits. Oh my god, these fit beautiful fam. Check that shit out. Check this beautiful, beautiful salvage seam. Oh my god. I am so fucking happy. After like the first wear dude, like I know this is just going to, oh god, like alright, so the leg opening fam. This is this is a beautiful leg opening, but they're a little bit too long. But mind you, I'm quite short. So I have to alter everything, get everything shortened. That's that's just what I do. I'm gonna keep the jeans on because I'm gonna wear them today anyway. And I'm just I'm super pleased, man. I'm so happy they fit. Because with jeans, like it's skinny too, man. I don't really wear skinny jeans, and I knew I'm gonna start wearing skinny jeans because I've lost more weight. But man, I'm just so happy these fucking fit. And last but not least is an item. That sold out in like one to three minutes. Like the minute I checked out, I checked out in 30 seconds. This size already sold out. So it goes to show that this item was definitely the most hyped, definitely the most requested. And for good reason, it's the most beautiful out of the whole collection, dude. And the whole reasoning behind Bent Knuckles, they re they just literally came up with the name. Um, all that info is on Sanja's video. I'm gonna leave a link or a card up here for you guys to check out. Sanj actually had FaceTime with Jacob J. Keller and they all went over the details of like most garments and when like when the next collection will drop and everything but we're talking about this beautiful, beautiful denim jacket which just looks amazing and like, okay, so this, let me get into the quick materials of this ship. I need to see this. Oh my God, that's so cropped and so sexy. <laughs> ah, this is fire, bro. This is so fucking fire. I cannot... Cannot wait to wear this today. Beautiful part about this is the nice vertical red stripes which actually actually run along down the whole of the denim jacket and has a nice, nice cropped look. And this, I don't know if it does look more, looks more black on camera, but it's definitely like a gray, faded gray and faded red on camera. And dude, like it's a denim jacket that's supposed to be really stiff. This already feels worn in. I know when I put this on, it's gonna feel Beautiful, like as soon as it touches my body. Oh, that's an orgasm. These are the same buttons used on the Japanese denim, so I think these are Riri as well. And oh man, just oh, there's not much else I can say about this because the item itself speaks for itself. What the fuck vibes? Along with the red vertical stripes, we've also got this uh, double seam which runs along each side of the denim jacket and also on the sleeve too follows like this nice thick seam, is double stitched too for reinforcement, and we've also got a button clasp as well with the um, sleeve in case you wanted to roll it or anything. We've also got a double stitched seam which actually runs along down the side of the top of the denim jacket and actually has two seams which taper in towards the bottom. So this can kind of create like a tapered effect to make your waist look a lot shorter. It's a very visual aesthetically pleasing thing to look at. When you see a denim jacket kind of go like that, it kind of accentuates your lats, and that's like something that, you know, that's like bro talk, like gym bro talk, if you get what I mean. And yeah, that's basically about it. And if I didn't mention as well, we've got inside pockets as well on the denim jacket. And this is just so fire. Oh, I just want to try it on, bro. So just give me one second while I try this shit on. And if you guys are wondering, this, uh, this is vintage, by the way, but yeah. This stem jacket is gonna feel beautiful, I know already. Oh my goodness gracious me. <sighs> Mates, this is fucking fire, bro. Oh my holy. 
That is so cropped and I fucking love this. I am pleased. Bro, this, this is fire, dude. Like, my fly is undone. That's really embarrassing, but I'm just gonna roll with it. You can, you can see how it looks. I'm gonna have a proper on body, so don't stress. But just overall, I've got to fix my hair, man. Honestly, like, beanie in touch here. Overall, I am super pleased, man. The cropness of this is supposed to sit right at the waist to kind of make sure that the proportions when you wear are correct because you always want to accentuate your legs to make you look a little bit taller. Having a nice crop feel just works so, so well, man. I'm so happy. I am so fucking happy. So you guys can kind of see how it looks like on, but don't stress, I will have a separate on body on top of this as B-roll. But overall, the price really justifies the quality. The fit of this is just amazing. And I'm super happy to finally have like a nice pair of skinny denim in my wardrobe to wear on a daily basis, as well as this beautiful denim jacket, which has a nice crop feel. And it's just, it's, it's something different. It's very creative. It's something different that you've never seen before. And I am super pleased, man. So if you guys loved this video, hit that thumbs up button for me. It goes a really, really long way. And along with that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because here on Verdugo Vibes, you're gonna see me do some outfits with these two pieces and do like other styling videos with outfits, pick up videos like this. So if you wanna see that, subscribe, join the gang. And if you wanna do that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's just over there. And then check out my recently uploaded video as well, which is over there. And I will see you guys in the next video on Verdugo Vibes. I'm out guys, peace.